guys, it's Carson Ray. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a little fall vlog, I guess. It's just a vlog. I don't know. We're going to get my nails done. We're going to go to a bookstore. We're going to get some Starbucks. And we're going to go to Rachel's house because I have to curl her hair. Because today she thinks she's getting engaged. I definitely know that she's getting engaged today. I know Rachel's getting engaged today, but she doesn't have to know that. Anyways, I'm gonna go curl her hair, um, but before that, I'm gonna stop at Starbucks. I was about to complain and say that I couldn't find my lip oil, but I just found it in my car. So, I really like those lip oils. They're really cute. So, a little fall vlog. I'm definitely gonna make some bad book purchases today because I definitely don't need to buy any books. But I think I'm gonna buy, like, Christmas books because I want to do a video of reading Christmas romance books during December. Oh my gosh, it's November and I have made almost no progress on my book reading goal. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Here's the thing though, school is hard. Like college is hard, especially when you're at a different college, like when you had to transfer, there's like so much happening that and I have a boyfriend so like that's where most of my time goes is to my boyfriend because I love spending time with my boyfriend so yeah reading is hard I'm definitely gonna read today I brought my book icebreaker with me because I'm rereading icebreaker so I can read wildfire which is the second one in the icebreaker series because that came out like a while ago and I haven't read it but I bought it like the day it came out I just went in and grabbed my Starbucks and what is it? I'm sorry. This this annoys me a little bit. Their order isn't ready on, like, it's not on the thing. Why do they all crowd around the little order table? If your order isn't ready, go sit down. It doesn't matter if you're, like, taking it to go. But go sit down, like, right next to it. They have, like, little chairs for the people who are waiting. They'll call your name when it's ready. That just, it irks me a little bit. Also, the girl in the car next to me is reading Ugly Love. And I just got so much heartbreak. She doesn't look that far into it, so like, I hope she is okay after. <laughs> to Rachel's house. I'm so glad they still have the pumpkin because I was scared that once the like Christmas flavors came out that they would just like fully get rid of the pumpkin, which is not smart in my opinion if they were to do that. They make so much money off of these pumpkins, like pumpkin flavored things. I also kind of want to try the gingerbread one so I have like a Christmas flavor that I can still go to when once this does eventually leave, which is so sad. It'd be a little silly to like take, like get rid of them before Thanksgiving because like Thanksgiving like you get pumpkin pie and all the like so all the things it's and it's still fall so like pumpkin is still like one the pumpkin itself is still in season and two people still want the pumpkin flavor every year before now I was very much a after Thanksgiving girly but now I'm not so sure I think I should just embrace the Christmas spirit for as long as I can because you do only get like a month of it so why not, like, if I put my decorations up now, because I decorate my room for Christmas. I have a Christmas tree that's for my room. I think I want to just decorate early because I don't put any decorations up for Thanksgiving or fall, which I wish I would because some of those, like, pillows at Target are super cute. I don't really need to spend the money on that when I can use it for books. Yeah, I think I'm just, I think I'm going to switch, switch it up and start celebrating Christmas a little bit earlier. Hey, look, it's my wife. Oh my gosh! Do we have to get a divorce today? Or can we wait until your wedding? I mean, please throw a wedding, I guess. Okay, because we're married. Oh, are you talking to your vlog? Yeah. Doesn't she look so pretty? <laughs> Thanks, Rachel, for paying for my Starbucks. I think I'm getting engaged today. I told them. That's wild. That's how well. I learned to do my own hair, though. Probably. <laughs> Especially if you're moving out and, like, moving yeah, away. Did you get my drink? Did you have a drink? Yeah. Okay, get in the car. Oh, no. Real quick. We're going to Starbucks to pick up our drink. We'll be right back. I'm at 
a different one. I've just been trying like all the ones near me because there's a, like a lot of nail salons near me. So I'm trying this one. I'm kind of scared. So I'm kind of like, because I don't want them to mess it up. Like, because like the past couple times, it's been like a little janky. They're just always a little too bulky. It's fine. I'll like them either way. I just miss having nails because all of mine, can you see that? All of them are broken except this one, this one. Like everything else is broken. So I'm just gonna go get some new ones. I'm either gonna get like a dark green or like a brown or like a sage green. Okay, I'm gonna stop stalling and go in now. Okay, so I just finished my nail appointment. Rachel's engaged. I also, I didn't wanna film in there cause like I don't like filming. Cause then I would have to like ask for their permission if they wanted to be filmed, even though it's just their hands. And I didn't wanna do that. So I didn't film in there, but I got my nails did. She did such a good job. I love them so much. I've missed having my nails done. I guess now I'm gonna head to Books A Million. Target's cheaper because like all of their books are just always 20% off. Plus I have the red card so that gets you another 5% off. I think I'm gonna go head to, I don't know if I wanna go to Target or Books A Million. I kinda wanna go to Books A Million because they have all their Christmas books out, but I think I'm gonna go to Target first just to save a little bit of money. And if they don't have like the things I want, then I'll just go to Books A Million and I'll be fine. completed i'm really scared that like all my nails are gonna just pop off because my nails were so short beforehand but anyways i made purchases however i forgot my soy sauce and chopsticks that i used for my sushi i'm gonna head home and i'll show you guys the haul when i get there as you can see i am way over capacity when it comes to books plus this stack which i need to donate but let's talk about what i purchased from target first we have Philadelphia roll. We love her. We have her whenever we can. She's gorgeous. Next we have our veggie roll, which only has avocado, cucumber, and carrots. Next we have the books I purchased. This is called One for My Enemy. It's kind of like a mafia book, kind of. Two rival witch families. Witch mafia. So that's interesting. I looked it up on Goodreads, it had good reviews, the cover's really pretty, and then the inside, if you take the cover off, it's like this bone white with little speckles. I can't tell if you can see the speckles, but it's got little speckles of black, and it's red right here. Really pretty. That's one of the families. That's the other family. And there's pictures on the inside. 30% off the cover price. The cover price is $26.99. 30% off. Next, we have the third one of the Throne of Glass series, Crown of Midnight, to go with my other two that I um, haven't read. I'm just slowly collecting them because I'm going to read them all either way, just because I know how good Akatar was. And yeah, I just need, and I also have both Crescent City books. So I'm just collecting them so that I have them to read before she changes the cover again. But I really like these covers compared to the first ones. And then lastly from Target, we have Love Holly. So I did get a Christmas book. I did get a Christmas themed book. This one, out of all of the Christmas books, I looked them all up on Goodreads and this one had the best reviews. So I have Christmas, two Christmas books. Where's my other Christmas book? This is my other Christmas book that I have, but I've had this one. So yeah, those are the three that I got at Target. Also wanted to show you guys what my boyfriend bought for me at Books A Million. He got me Love on the Brain. Julian still has my copy of The Love Hypothesis, but this is the second one. It's not actually like a series or anything, but it's another one by Allie Hazelwood who wrote The Love Hypothesis. And I'm gonna read Icebreaker. And once I finish this, I'm gonna read Wildfire. I wanna read this so bad purely because of the sprayed edges. I think this is my first book that actually has sprayed edges. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Now when I post, it's usually every Saturday. Usually, I try. And that's it. Bye.